Hey guys, my name is Kathy Ekdahl. I'm a personal trainer and a strength and conditioning coach. And most importantly for you guys, I am a Titleist Performance Institute golf fitness instructor. And I'm an avid golfer. Uh, and I've been training golfers now for about 13 years. And I'm happy to have you here with me today. So welcome golfers. Um, I wanted to show you two basic exercises today. And I use the term basic. I'm a big believer in taking something basic, making it really perfect, and then adding a little something, something here and there to make it more challenging. So definitely the two exercises I'm showing are kind of underrated. But from my experience, I see a lot of people who really massacre these exercises. So let's um, go through these exercises together. Uh, before we do that, I just want to get on the same page. Um, a lot of people have confusion around what your core muscles are and what exactly does it mean to have a strong core or a stable core. So core training or core strengthening means that you are working on the muscles that stabilize the spine. So your core muscles are defined as all the muscles, front, side, and back, that stabilize your spine. When the spine is stable, we can move our arms and legs around us without our spine wiggling around like one of those um, giant blow up things in the front of an oil change station. So uh, core strength and stability means that you have the strength to control the movement of your spine, to not let what you do with your arms and legs pull your spine out of alignment. So if you think about golf, Golf is all about maintaining a proper spine angle. So we move the arms and the shoulders around a very still spine. And on the downswing, we take the hips, move them forward before we initiate the arms, something like that. Um, and both of those things require core stability. So when you are looking at core training for golf, you got to know what the purpose of strong core muscles are. They are to hold your spine still at a dress and during your golf swing so that you can translate power from your feet all the way to your hands and the club most efficiently. So it not only helps with swing speed and power, once you can know how to control various parts of your spine, that's the hallmark of a good golf swing. So getting out of a uh, spine angle, getting out of proper spine angle is a really common problem. So if we can do anything to help that, I think that goes a long way to getting you ready for the golf season, which, you know, we're all here uh, isolated right now. So um, it's starting soon. All right, so first exercise I wanna show you is a bird dog. It is the one I most frequently see people do incorrectly. So a bird dog is complete spinal stability. So when you get into this all fours position like I am right now, all I want to focus on is what's going here on my back. It doesn't matter how high the arms are lifting or how high the leg is lifting. What matters is what's happening right here. So the first thing I always do is I pull my stomach in and I hold it in. I want to keep a flat back, maybe a little arch, not a big arch. That's loss of core stability. So I'm going to hold my abs in and I'm going to focus on lifting the arm and leg without my back moving at all. That's the whole key. So if you hold your tummy in a little bit, that really helps. So in that exercise, you're strengthening your arms and your upper back. It's your entire core, especially some little muscles here in your back. And you're moving your arms and legs in opposite directions, challenging your stability. So we can make this a little bit harder. So I'm going to angle myself a little bit so you can see better. This time when we come into the bird dog, we're going to lift the arm and leg. We're going to move it out to the side and then back in. So you lift up both, you go out to the side a little bit, back to the middle, and then in. Lift up arm and leg, go out about five inches, come back in, and down. 
So we'll do one more either side. I'll tell you, it's a lot harder than it looks. And you go out a little and in. And that's your first hard variation. So start with a regular bird dog. And if it becomes super easy, which it probably shouldn't. So here's another thing. If an exercise is really easy, start thinking like maybe I'm not doing it to the 150th degree that I need to. Maybe if something's too easy, it's because you're not really holding your core. So that's one great exercise. The second great exercise is a bridge. And it's one of the most classic exercises out there. So um, I'm gonna lay on the ground and hopefully you can see me pretty well. And a bridge is just a drive of the hips up. That's all it is. So I'm driving my hips up, pushing through my heels. It's what happens at ball strike. At ball strike, you drive your hips through. Even on downswing, your hips start to come through. So a bridge is a great basic exercise to start with. But let's take it up a notch or two. Um, the next version I'm going to show you is called a bridge with marching. So you're going to come down on the floor. You're going to hike up into your bridge and you're just going to march. And the goal, just like the other exercise, is that this does not move. So you've got to draw your tummy in, squeeze the glute cheek of the standing um, leg right here or the leg on the ground and push your hands into the ground. So that's a great variation of a bridge. So those are two fundamental core exercises that have nothing to do with your abs like you might think. It's definitely an indirect way to get the abs, but you can do those without equipment. Um, the slower you go, the harder it is, and give those a shot. Um, so that's just kind of my initial suggestions of a couple things you might not think of adding into your current uh, exercise regimen. I think it's really gonna help your golf game. Uh, feel free to send questions anytime, Kathy at personalbestpersonaltraining.com, and that's Kathy with a K. And again, my name's Kathy Ekdahl, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.